Hi there, my name is Mark Jordan. I'm a community pharmacist based out of Mayo and today we're going to discuss how to use an antigen test. So, antigen tests readily available in the community setting at the moment and will become all the more important as we hopefully accelerate our way out of the COVID-19 pandemic. So first things first, how to use them, how do we prepare and how do we know whether or not now is the appropriate time to use one of the tests? Well, the first marker is, is you have to make sure that you haven't eaten anything or drank anything in the last 30 minutes because that could affect the result. So that's first things first. Next thing is, is if you have a nose piercing, try to take it out. We don't want anybody getting themselves injured when they're testing the back of their nose. And the last thing is, is if you have had a nosebleed in the last 24 hours, it's preferable that you wait 24 hours before you use one of these tests, again, as not to aggravate or disrupt the results of the test. Next, we have to find out what's in the test. So the first thing that we're all very familiar with, we've been watching the news for the last two years, is the nasal swab. So we're very familiar with these. These come in these sterilized packages. The next thing that we should be familiar with is this little vial. This little vial oftentimes comes with a separate cap or a cap attached. So if your cap comes attached, make sure to just prepare that and remove the cap so that you can add in the reagent or this solution, which will come in a small single dose unit. Once you're ready to use this, you'll carefully break the nib off. We'll go over all of that. And then the last thing is the test plate itself. The test plate itself is used to actually tell us the results of the test. That's where we put the solution along with our sample when we're ready to find out whether or not we actually have antigens or if we're infectious. Last things last, we have to make sure that we familiarize ourselves with the instructions that accompany these tests as some tests do vary. Okay, doke. So, some tests come with holes punched in the back of the box so that you can hold your nib steady or your vial steady when you're adding your test uh, sample to it. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use this handy one that I use here in the pharmacy. So first of all, you add your vial to your little stand. Second thing second is you carefully break the nib off the top of your reagent vial and you add it. You add the entire contents of that solution to the vial. Once you have that much done, is the bit that we can all be a little bit apprehensive about doing. But once we get used to the fact that it's going to help us, I think we're, we're, going to, we're all going to get used to doing it. It's not too difficult. What we need to remember is, is that we can't touch the top of these swabs. The cloth or foam on the top of this is sterile, and that's where we need our sample to bind to so that we can add it to the reagent and then to the plate and then find out the result of our test. So it's very important we don't touch this off anything other than the test area. For the purposes of this, it's either nostril of my nose. Okay, so I'm gonna stand with my side to the camera so that you can see effectively. It's about 1.5 centimeters to two centimeters in adult. It'll probably be less than that in a child if you're testing a child. I like to say, until you find that there's a gentle pressure at the back of the swab. So you insert the swab until you meet that pressure about 1.5 centimeters and you twist it 10 full rotations or 15 seconds either side. So I'm not going to delay with this. And you test both sides of your nose. So for the second side, careful now not to touch the top of it. And what we do is, is we add that swab to our solution in our vial and we give it plenty of rotation give it about 15 full rotations five to ten seconds inside in that solution making sure that we have good contact between the solution and the swab and when we're removing it i like to pinch the vial to make sure that all of the solution and the sample have been removed being careful to discard your swab in a safe place and being careful with your cap on the top of your vial. You then, on a flat surface, on a flat clean surface, remember we discussed at the, at the start of the video, we add our reagent along with our sample to the plate and we can instantly see that it's been drawn up through the plate. So what we need to do now is, is wait 15 to 30 minutes depending on the test to get our test result. So having let your sample sit in the sample port on your test plate for a sufficient number of time, you will be greeted with your test result. And your test result will either read as a single 
or a double pink line. Here we have a single pink line, and that is to recognize that I don't have any antigens present at the moment, which means I'm not infectious. However, if you're greeted with two pink lines, you should then treat yourself as a positive COVID patient and follow the public health guidelines thereafter.